you can see what remains of those two homes now as crews begin to continue to work on power lines and remove some of that rubble. The whole area was shut down while firefighters attacked the blaze from land and sea. Neighbors we talked to emotional after coming home to this. It's heart wrenching. You don't want to see that after you put all your time and effort into a home. Cell phone video captures beachfront homes quickly going up in flames. The wind off the water kindling the fire, rapidly spreading them to neighboring homes. So you don't know what you're going to ultimately get with this wind and what's going to keep burning. And you know, you don't know where the fire is going to stop. The fire began just before 4 p.m. at 29 Beach Road West Old Saybrook. A woman and her two dogs escaping from the home unharmed before the flames spread. Four homes catching fire. The thick black smoke billowing into the sky. Building materials that were on the, around those homes were catching on fire just from the wind blowing the, the embers and everything just across the street. The wind creating dangerous conditions for responding firefighters from over five towns. They attacked the flames from land and sea. Because the wind was blowing directly the other way and it kind of saved my house. Two homes collapsed, leaving behind charred remains and memories from homeowners devastated by the scene. The raw emotions spilling into the street. It's your property. I mean, any one of us, if our home burned down, it would be a pretty devastating event. Those homeowners now tasked with the prospect of rebuilding their homes and their lives. It's heart wrenching, you know. There's a lot of really good people down here. In now, investigators are unsure what sparked that fire, and fortunately, no one was injured. Now, this isn't the first time that fire has ripped through this community. Firefighters can remember two times in the last 20 years where multiple homes caught fire, but that experience helping them help contain some of those flames today. Right now, live in Old Saybrook, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.